So, Mike Motz, you might not know much about him. He was the head coach of the greatest show on turf. So, yes, Mike Martz released his top five offenses that he's projecting for this year. And as the title continues, he's saying the Cincinnati Bengals won't be a top five offense. Now, again, if you guys do not know who he is, uh, he was the OC for the L.A. Rams. Uh, then he became the head coach for the L.A. Rams right around the greatest show in turf. Greatest show in turf was 1990. 1999 to 2001. This, of course, was when he was the OC and then the head coach. Um, in the in that time period, this team was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, 10 and 6, 14 and 2. I'm not sure what they were in 1999. Doesn't show what he was in 1999 because he was the OC. Well, pro after that, they kind of had a 7 and 9 record, and then 12 and 4, 8 and 8, and um, then two in three. So he wasn't much of a coach after that. Nonetheless, though, he was only actually five games. So that's why. Nonetheless, though, after he went there, he actually was there to 2005. Then he became an OC for the Lions for two years, 49ers for one year, and then two years with the Chicago Bears. Here is why we're talking about him. Because here's his top five list of... NFL offenses for this upcoming season. He has number one as the San Francisco 49ers. Now, usually when you hear someone like Mike Martz talk, you're going to respect it, right? Because this is a guy who, he knows offenses. I mean, at, at the end of the day, again, he had the greatest show on turf. Did he have Kurt Warner? Yeah. Does that help a lot? Yeah. Did he have really great receivers? Yeah. But usually you're going to respect it very, very much. This is... I don't even know what this list is. Now, number one, again, be the 49ers is a joke. Right now, the 49ers don't even really know who the starting quarterback is. Sam Donald's going to be starting off the year because Brock Purdy is still injured. Um, Trey Lance is still in limbo. And I'm pretty sure they picked up another quarterback too. So... No. I mean, the 49ers defense might be number one of the year. That is very possible. But to say the 49ers offense is number one for this whole entire next season, I think is really outlandish. And I, I could not agree with that. Number two, the Kansas City Chiefs. I'll be honest with you. If you told me the Chiefs were the number one offense next year, I, I could understand the argument. Honestly, I think the Bengals, Chiefs, and the Eagles are going to be top three. And you can kind of put them in any order you want. I think the Bengals are going to be arguably number one. But again, like I said, you could put Chiefs, e uh, Bengals, Eagles, whatever. Chiefs makes sense. I agree with that, number two. Number three, Detroit Lions. Now, here's the funny thing is. This is actually not that crazy. I mean, maybe not my top five list, but maybe my top ten list, I would put the Lions. The Lions just went ahead and got Gibbs. Yes, they lost DeAndre Swift. Yes, they also lost Jamal Williams. But still, Gibbs looks like a really solid running back. And if he can really, you know, produce well, Jamison Williams is out for six to seven weeks with suspension. But once he comes back, he can be an electrifying weapon. The question is, though, where Jared Goff really continue what he did last season. Because last season... They lost to the Seahawks 45 to 48. That offense wasn't the problem. Their defense is a lot better now with the, how this draft went. So, Lions, I would put them inside the top 10. I could not put them inside my top 5. And again, it really depending on how good Jared Goff actually plays. The Philadelphia Eagles, like I said before, yep, you can give me a 1, 2, 3 of Philly, Chiefs, and Bengals, and I'm okay with that. Buffalo Bills number five. See, again, like I said before, you could put Buffalo at number four. I could honestly, right now, my rankings, if I'm ranking top five offenses, right? Number one, I'm probably putting this up. Uh, I'll put the Chiefs, okay? I'll even do a solid. I'll put a Chiefs number one. Number two, Bengals. Number three, Eagles. Number four, Bills. That's my top four list. And again, it looks like he somewhat agrees because he does have, you know, three to four on this list. 
to not put the Bengals inside the top 10 is, I just, I don't get it. They have T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, now Charlie Jones, also, of course, Irv Smith, who's going to be great, Joe Mixon, um, Chase Brown in the backfield. They're going to have an electrifying offense with a really much better offensive line. I, I just, again, like I said, I get the point of view, you know. I think how he's looking at it is like the 49ers, Brock Purdy's going to take another step forward. He's going to be amazing. You already got George Kittle. You already got Debo. So they're going to take a step forward with those two guys. I, I really don't understand putting Brock Purdy on any level of Joe Burrow to say he's going to have a better year than Joe Burrow will. <sighs> he's an old-timer. I mean, that's the best way I'm going to put it. Because in all honesty, I, I just don't see how you put the 49ers number one. If, you, if he would have said Chiefs number one, number two was the Eagles, number three was the Bills, and then he put the Lions at 49ers, I could understand. I honestly, I would say right now, I would put the Lions over the 49ers if I'm doing my top five offenses. Respectfully, I could even make the argument of putting in my top four that I could put number five as the Lions. Again, it really depends on how good Jared Goff plays. Again, they're going to have the star receiver out for six weeks, so that's not helping out much. But if they can get Gibbs running in the backfield, catch some passes, you know, really open up this offense, they could be a pretty dang good offense again. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just going against, like, what everyone else is thinking. And maybe everyone else that's watching this video right now is just like, nah, man, that's a great list. I just, I can't see how you don't put the Bengals inside the top five. Especially with those weapons with the best quarterback in the game. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.